Morning folks, well we're back. Uh, just uh, getting outside. Heard something rumble out in the in the street and guess what showed up? Look at that. And we're ready to go. Factory 5 2024. We're building. So stay tuned. Here it comes. Alright, so there's Steve and Mr. Lindsay there unloading. And then we've got all the boxes. So this is what a coop looks like. There's like 40 boxes. So there's that. Jack stands are ready for the kit. There's a couple boxes there. Rims. Rear end. More boxes over here. So that's about it. It's, uh, they showed up right at uh, 8.30. And... Uh, I'd say it took us about 20 minutes to get to this point. And we are gonna go ahead and get the rest of this stuff unloaded. I'll show you the little contraption they have over here. Stand by, sorry for the wind. So they get like a little dolly system and here comes the car. They just pull it all the way out. Here's Mr. Coop. And we basically walk it up, put it on that little dolly right there, right here, and then we pull it, push it up the uh, the driveway. And there you go. Day zero inventory, and let's start putting parts on it. So, hang on, gonna be a quick one. Okay, well, uh, inventory is complete. I've got all the boxes kind of situated for right now. I'm trying to go through and make sure everything is present, which it is, so that's good. We're missing whopping two parts on my back order list. So air filter and a four-way heater valve for the air conditioning, which I have somewhere else. So that's all good. Um, gas tank's sitting right here. We're gonna put that in here in a little bit. That's junk box. Uh, all the suspension parts for the rear are right there so that's all set to go we're gonna break those apart and get those hung here in a minute uh, front suspension all the pieces are right there so that's the organization and the target uh, for the next few hours anyway and then um, later on this evening I'm gonna get those mounted so buddy mine's coming over thanks Logan he's gonna come by pick up the wheels and tires and he'll get those mounted and balanced for me and those are rival s's and then the deep dish extra wide rears and the normal fronts uh, 18s so we're running 275 35 uh, 18s and then I believe the 335 30s in the back if i'm not mistaken let's see uh yep same as my car so all in all, looking pretty good. Uh, got some little doodad parts I threw in there. Um, but this is going to happen pretty quick. Looks like everything is there. So let's get busy and uh, we'll, we'll do a uh, halfway through today video. It's uh, 4 o'clock. Just got back from work. So uh, came home for about an hour and uh, went ahead and did the delivery, so stand by. All right, folks, well, it's day zero, day one, I guess, and, uh, well, we're, we're done for the night, got home around, I don't know, like four or something like that, and just uh, started rocking on it. So let me turn it around real quick, and uh, let's see. So it's nighttime out, so, yeah, about four hours, so let me turn it around, hold on. So I haven't done anything really with the body, Took a little bit of the tape off. Uh, didn't quite get everything I wanted done, but that's okay, everything's still organized. I did I did get an extra set of spindles, so I'm gonna return these, because I know these are an issue trying to get right, or they were, I, I think they're not on back order, but I, I like I said, I didn't have very much back order stuff. Uh, as far as the back goes, I have the socket sitting there. Um, I've cleaned everything up from all the work that was done um, just now and 
we are in real good shape. The rear end is in and torqued. You can see it right there. That That's always fun. First thing to do. I've got the gas tank up and suspended. Uh, still have to put the nuts in on the back. Uh, and I'll do that once the body's off. And I've got to tape off uh, all these holes so nothing falls in. But I'll get a, a good hose vacuum in there, pressure, get it all cleaned out, make sure nothing nothing's left from where I rinsed it all out. All the suspension pieces are, uh, well, most of them are all out of the bags. I, I'm pretty sure I've put the left on the right, right on the left here. So I'm not really too worried about that, but at least it's out of there, um, out of the boxes and unwrapped, inspected powder coat looks good. The bushings all are in there. It's all greased, ready to go. Uh, all the hardware is right there. And we've got the uprights that need to get cut and prepped still. So tomorrow may not get to this part of it. I'm hoping just at least to get to this part, we'll get the shocks assembled. Maybe do that while I'm watching TV tonight or maybe first thing when I get, uh, maybe right before work, I'll do that and then at least they're done. And then we'll start, we'll start hanging this stuff in here. Um, and then we'll start moving to the front. So that's uh, day one and let's see, bring it all the way out. And I will take the nose off. The problem that we're having right now, you see everything's inside. Um, <laughs> we are, uh, we're getting ready to have some 60 mile an hour straight line winds again. So hopefully the trees don't uh, get blown down again and spend ha half the day doing that again and not working on the car. But looking good, very excited. Nice to have another Factory 5 in there working. So uh, hopefully uh, Mr. Steve uh, will enjoy. One more quick round. Oh, hold on. And you'll notice Steve right here, there was tires and rims. They're already gone. And they're off at the uh, getting mounted. So they should be done tomorrow or the next day. We'll pick those up. So moving out, talk to the uh, painter and uh, we're in, we're in good, good, uh, good spot. So stay tuned, gonna go quick, and uh, let me know if you want anything videoed specifically in the comments. And thanks again, welcome back, uh, we're at it again on the channel. Talk to you later.